Fields, it's Mrs. Kranovich, and do we have a fun book to read this week. The title of our book is The Best Pet of All, and it's written by David La Rochelle and then illustrated by Hanako Wakiyana. And just by looking at the front of the book, who do you think the best pet of all might be? And who do you think might want a, book, a pet? Let's read and find out. The best pet of all. On Monday, I asked my mother if I could have a dog. A dog is a good pet, I said. No, she said, dogs are too messy. On Tuesday, I asked my mother if I could have a dog. A dog is a very good pet, I said. No, she said, dogs are too loud. And if you look at the picture, you can tell the mom is thinking about a loud barking dog. On Wednesday, I asked my mother if I could have a dog. A dog is the best pet of all, I said. No, she said, no dogs. On Thursday, I asked my mother if I could have a dragon. A dragon, she said. I have never heard of a dragon for a pet. She thought a bit. If you can find a dragon, you can keep it for a pet. Now, do you think the mom really thought he could find a dragon? Maybe that's why she said yes. Let's read and find out what happens. Dragons are not easy to find. There were no dragons in the park. There were no dragons at the beach. There were no dragons in the woods. There were no dragons at the zoo. At last, I found a dragon. That dragon was at the drugstore. He was wearing dark glasses and a hat. I asked the dragon to come home with me. The dragon said, no. You can sleep in my bed, I said. He still would not come. You can play with my toys, I said. The dragon said, yes. And there they go home. Dragons like to play with toys, but they do not like to put them away. They do not like to help with chores, and they make a mess in the kitchen. Oh, look, yep, his chore must be to take out the, dra the garbage. There's the dragon, just laying around in the hammock. Hmm. My mother did not like this dragon. She asked the dragon to please leave. The dragon would not go. Then she told the dragon to leave now. The dragon still would not go. Hmm. If I read the picture, I can see why mom didn't like the dragon. He's making a mess and oh my goodness, he's taking up the whole couch. Finally, my mother got angry. She stomped her foot. She told the dragon to leave this minute or else. Ooh, look at her face. She sure looks angry. The dragon just shook his head. He went back to eating spaghetti in the bathtub. Too bad we do not have a dog, I said. Dragons do not like dogs. The dragon looked worried. Dragons are afraid of dogs, I said. The dragon began to shake. A dog would chase that dragon away, I said. The dragon ran to my toy box and jumped inside. Maybe you are right, my mother said. Maybe we need a dog. 
I put a sign in the window, dog wanted. Soon there was a knock at the door. It was a dog. The dragon saw the dog. He grabbed his hat and ran out the door. Remember why? Because dragons must be afraid of dogs. Thank goodness we have a dog, said my mother. A dog is a good pet. My dog wagged his tail. Yes, I said, a dog is the best pet of all. Wasn't that a fun story, boys and girls? And didn't the boy find a clever way to solve his problem and get what he wanted? I hope you enjoyed our story. Stay with us while we see a writing activity that we're going to do all about the best pet. Goodbye. Boys and girls, we just had fun reading the book, The Best Pet of All. And this week for writing, I'd like you to write an opinion piece about what you think the best pet is. So come on in and we're going to see, we're going to be using one of our newer sight words, because, and you might want to have mom or dad write that down on a piece of paper for you. You can see the little word be in there, because. And when we write an opinion piece about what we're thinking, our opinion is what we think or feel, we most of the time need to use the word because. So in our writing journal, this is how we're going to start. We're going to write, the best pet is a hmm because. And you can put what you think the best pet is. If you have a dog that you really love, maybe you might think the best pet is a dog or a cat or a rabbit or a hamster or a goldfish. Maybe you have one pet, but you really wish you had another kind. So this is up to you to put down. So you could write the best pet is a dog because dogs will play games with you. You can walk a dog. See if you can come up with a couple of reasons why a dog would be the best pet of all, or why a cat would, whatever you choose. Have fun writing. When you get done, draw a picture to go with your good ideas. Show us what the best pet would look like. And remember, don't get worried about making a perfect picture. You can use shapes to help you draw your pet. But color it in so we can see what color pet you might like to have. At the end of your writing, don't forget to do your three-way check. Check and see, did you start with an uppercase letter? Do you have spaces between your words? Did you end with an end mark? Have fun, and I look forward next week to having you tell us what you think the best pet of all is. Bye, boys and girls.